How do you do everybody? My name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to a kiss for the pedos maidens of Michael. After that, the three of us pulled together and knocked out the rest of our shopping trip. Some trivial things would probably pop up later on, but for now we had what we needed. It wasn't really appropriate to go out while still in our uniforms, was it? Well, I mean, how do you get home? The three of us looked at each other and shared a mischievous grin. Oh, they all had the same idea. Oh, so kawaii. And so the freshman club had their first meeting at the cafe Sarasan recommended. The two of them beamed radiantly as they happily chatted. Looked every bit like young girls in love. I had heard from my classmates that all the best couples were in romantic relationships. But was it actually true? How far were they taking things? I kinda wanted to ask. The things I heard them talking about during the meeting reg regarding Christmas Fest the other day kind of gave me a clue. But I hadn't asked any of them about it directly yet. I molded over in frustration as I looked at the two girls seated to the left and right of me. And then... Following her sudden remarks, Sarah-san opened the conversation. この I mean, did, did you two like, you know, call each other or anything? Or like, or, or is it just like, oh, we meet again? Sort of thing. Just hearing her story left me breathless. No, actually, I, well, you know, I actually was too embarrassed to say. Even though me and I were chosen as the best couple, we weren't even close to being lovers. I didn't even have a story I could tell. Just when I thought the conversation was moving on. Nanami-chan たちはどうなの? 
リってあのだってするでしょはいたまにしますパジャマパーティー的なのです What, what way? What way? I, I don't get it. What, what way? Their son seems to be totally under the impression that me and I were in a romantic relationship. Did the rest of the best couples think the same thing? Mmm, how would I get out of this? I looked pleadingly at Lan Nami san, but her eyes were downturned in embarrassment. And now that Sarah had shared her own story about her and Keita sama, she was looking to us for a consensus. But what about that person right next, you know, right next to us at the other table? Nami-san was trying to refuse, but didn't look like she could be very assertive about it. How much longer was this going to go on? Maybe if one of us answered the next time she asked something, she'd be satisfied. Nami san, who up until now had been giving Sarah san nothing but evasive ev、uh, responses, but suddenly voicing her agreement. Nami san saw me intently scrutinizing her, and, and that made her flustered. Nami's cries echoed throughout the cafe. Uh oh. No sooner had we re returned to the、uh, classroom than Sarah's son embraced Keita sama. Can we have like a, you know, a little locked closet or something? We just put our stuff in or put the stuff in? Kedasama sighed. Was it really that bad? The three of us bowed our heads, promising to be more careful. 
be honest, he should have come straight back, but I was really glad I'd been able to talk with those two as much as I did. <laughs> we all looked at each other and shed a little smile before each returning to our respective tasks. Aww, they had such a great time. There wasn't much time left, so that what could I actually finish? Oh? Oh. Me and I unexpectedly met each other's gaze. Actually, it seemed more like she had been watching me all along. She was clearly eyeing me with displeasure. But the moment I tried to go over to her, He had dropped the fabric and paper she was working on right where she stood and fled from the classroom. <gasps> oh no! Why? Well, we will find out in the next episode of A Kiss for the Petals Maidens of Michael, everybody. We had a blast in the cafe with uh, getting uh, Nanami-san uh, very flustered. And uh, now Mia fled from us, probably thinking of other stuff or... He had to use the bathroom. Who knows? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please smash that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!